Hello, um, here to log another shave. Um, it's been two and a half days since the last shave and the last shave was a little rough. So I gave it a little more time to heal uh, before I shaved again. Today, uh, it is, it rained in New York City. So whenever it rains, uh, my go-to soap is this Holy Call Tempest. Uh, this was a limited run, a one-time run, I believe. Uh, for the Reddit subforum, um, re uh, wet shaming, you can see it right there. And uh, obviously, you're gonna follow it up with the matching splash. Uh, today's uh, razor is gonna be none other than the Rockwell uh, 6S on the three plate now, uh, going back milder with a pole silver super iridium blade um i know this to be a good blade for me and um it's gonna be I, it's gonna be a comfortable shave the brush it's gonna be same brush simpsons chubby two best badger i have it soaking here and gonna be same old layers with Sterling unscented balm. Okay, so here's the soap. Uh, I used a little bit of it. Still a lot left. Bring out the brush. Lots of water. I start with the dry puck. It's a little bit on the tips. And I'm gonna start. Ooh. Probably a little bit too much water actually, because this thing does not need as much water as Barrister Man Reserve. Yeah, I added too much water here. It's like super watery. I can make it work, should be fine, because the brush picks up so much soap. Okay. It's going all over the place. This is a messy shave. Messy lather so far.
That was a messy, that was a messy lather. Um, currently, it might be a little bit on the watery end, but the stuff, uh, the soap is so good that you know it's gonna work. No problem. Not worried about it. Heat the blade a little bit with hot water, and here we go. First pass. Very nice, smooth. Yes, my hair does go basically horizontal over here. That's why my with the green pass goes that way. a little pimple here that's pretty much gone but still need to be careful so right here right here I put my tongue behind this area just to push it out a little bit to get a flat surface for for cutting It's feeling good. Again, my hair grows from here down to here so this is with the grain same on this side Yes, that's why I'm more quiet, I guess, because it's feeling so good right now. So, um, I think the last time I shaved, I had a, a cut right here. I don't know if that's going to open up again or cause problems. Hopefully not. A lot of people have this problem where their Adam's apple is a problem area. Um, the same for me. I have a very sharp protruding angled Adam's apple so I have to pull like sort of like this to one side where I could get a flat surface to shave so I, I rarely go over the Adam's apple right here like that Okay, first pass, done.
Second pass. Now, you might wonder what Tempest smells like. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you it is not like, it's not, it's just tough to say. It's, it's not a scent that you fall in love with immediately or ever. Um, I didn't expect it. Uh, Holy Cow described it as lightning um, coming down, a raging storm in the sea, in the open sea. Mm, I don't get that, personally. Um, for me, this scent um, gives me this picture of like once I smell this, I think about a cl uh, cloudy day uh, by the shore and it's low tide and you're walking along the rocks by the, by the water and you know, there's like a, sea a little bit of seaweed, a little bit of like moss uh, there. Um, picture that setting in your head and that's what I get when I smell this. I know, no, nothing floral, but aquatic, and it's aquatic, but it's not like a beachy, sunny beach type of scent across the grain. but accidentally went against the grain over there. Any nicks, any nicks, any nicks? Nothing. Good. This blade is so much more comfortable, possibly because it is sharper. I don't know what it is, but this blade is so good. Hey, oh, there's a little weeper right there. No. Okay, so once again, hair grows like this, hair grows like this. So I'm going up. Which is across the green. That was the second pass. Smooth so far, very comfortable.
Okay, once again, this is my last pass, but it is in it isn't like a defined direction that I go. Um, I go against the grain in certain parts, and then cross grain in certain parts. Maybe go through another section with with the grain. So what I like to do for the dirt pass is because I don't do like any kind of touch up pass really. This is sort of my touch up pass. So I just squeeze out from the brush. Once again, this is a big brush that likes to hold lather in it. So I could keep going. And even if I have to spot check certain parts after this pass, it's, there's still like plenty of lather in here. Mm. Okay. More on the airy side. But that's fine. So against the grain here. I could also do it here. This part of my neck, not uh, doesn't not past the Adam's apple. Very light. So for the mustache area, I go. The second pass, I went like this. So for this pass, I'll go inside out. Okay, lower neck. I went this way the second time. Now I'm going this way. Here's left hair. I'm gonna do some weird scrunched up neck kind of thing. I don't know what this is called. I'll try to show you. Quite effective actually. You could try it yourself. Be very careful though because when you do that the skin sort of scrunches up and it might have fold a little bit and if you press in too hard it's gonna cut. So a word of caution for that technique.
I'm just gonna do another with the grain here. My most sensitive, dangerous areas is this part. I don't know why. Okay, that's it. That's the last pass. And one more to rinse. Wow, how did soap get up there? Follow up with some Thayer's. I just noticed, like, I didn't, like, I don't know if you guys know, but why does this? I thought this was waterproof label. I see everybody else's uh, labels, and they don't. They don't scrunch up like that. They don't get wet. I don't know why. Anyway, there's. Oh, I messed up. I just thought about it. I should have. I forgot to splash cold water. I just kept going. It's going really fast. That's fine. While that dries, and I will clean off my soap. That's it. You can still see some of the lather. I don't care, I'll leave it in there. Whatever. Save it for next time, right? Also, clean the brush. Yes, that was a whistle from the sink. It's a little messed up. One final squeeze. And then once again, I dab. Okay, that's dried in. So the splash is going to be the matching splash. Tempest, holy call. Um, the thing I don't like about this is that it's not like, a, doesn't have a ton of skin food in it. Unlike Barrister Man's Reserve aftershave splashes, which I like actually. Um, this is a lot of alcohol and menthol. Yep, a little bit of sting. The menthol feels really good though. Wow. 
while that dries in, I moisturize the rest of my face that was not shaved. I'm using Bulldog Original Moisturizer tonight. Just a little bit. Just parts of my face where I didn't shave, you know? I want to continue to advocate that you should moisturize. Don't just care about the parts you shave, you know? The rest of your face matters too. Oh, here's a really cool little sample that I got this week um, from Holy Cow, actually. So this, I don't know if you can see it. This is um, the new Holy Cow anti-aging serum. So um, I will be doing a review on this. Uh, I've used it one time already, but uh, I'll use it for another couple times before I give my thoughts on it. So look forward to that. You can see a little bit of redness from the alcohol. That is my sensitive spot. That's part of the reason that I am no longer buying any more aftershave splashes. Um, once I use the ones I got, I'm just gonna stick with alcohol-free toners because mm, in the winter, this will flake and become super dry. So now, Sterling Unscented Balm. Great stuff. Not that much needed. leave a little bit of a white film but it gets absorbed super fast so I don't really mind it okay that's the shave quick review of what was used today um, rainy day, so the soap was Holy Cow Tempest, Holy Cow Tempest, sorry, uh, matching splash. The razor was nothing other than the Rockwell 6S on the three plate. Um, Pulse Silver Blade, brand new. The brush was Simpson Chubby 2, Best Badger. Splash, no, Splash, I covered. Um, ball, Sterling Unscented, and Base Moisturizer, regular, everywhere else, Bulldog. So that's the shave. Um, very comfortable shave. Uh, just the one little weeper there, nothing. But overall, very comfortable, very glad with the shave. Um, thank you for watching and I'll get back with that review on that serum. Thank you. See you soon.